is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with my Tim Holtz paper dolls and I thought let's come along and have a bit of a play with them. I haven't used them for a little while and yeah, just thought it was high time I dug them back out. Now I have to say, now I'm looking at them, I seem to have used most of my um, larger size ones, which, you know, that's fine, but I hadn't really kind of been aware of that. Um, but it's mainly kind of the smaller size ones that I've got left. But what I thought we could do is have a little bit of a play and see whether we can make some kind of pop-up um, pieces for our junk journals. As I say, I have not actually done this, so it's a bit trial and error. Um, and I possibly should have really uh, checked that I could get this to work before coming on to do a video. But let's just um, have a look and see whether we can, we can do anything. Now... I've watched a few um, tutorials of how to do kind of pop-up cards and things. So we're going to use that same sort of concept to do our pop-up. Now, let's take, for instance, let's take these two ladies. Actually, I've got them in even smaller sizes. So it might be that the smaller sizes actually are going to work even better for this um, than these kind of, you know, medium kind of size pieces. So I'm thinking if we did like a... Yeah, like a pop-up that they would then pop up inside. Well, let's have a look and see what we can what we can come up with. So I'm just going to cut this down. I mean, I probably really should have done like a prototype really, you know, before coming on and switching my gourd. But, you know, you just don't often <laughs> kind of, yeah, have time slash inclination to do that. Sorry, I just have to keep adjusting this because I'm trying to get it, you know, in the right position. Um, yeah, I'm thinking if we have this as a sort of um, fold down. So if I just fold that down in the middle, you know, like a card, you know, um, a sort of greetings card or whatever. And I'm just going to cut it down, obviously, here on the side. Okay. And then... What you want to do is like a double lining. So for the inside, make a sort of, um, yeah, like a lining that's going to act as your pop-up. Now, I've got some coffee dyed paper here. And again, I'm now wondering whether that's not really going to be thick enough. So wondering whether I should probably, yeah, wondering whether I should actually use, use this. But then it's not really going to be great for the journaling on so that takes me back to thinking use the the coffee dyed paper so sorry I don't know whether this keeps on slipping down I feel like I keep on adjusting it and then next time I glance up it's kind of like slid down so we'll keep our eye on it over the next few minutes so let's take this for example the coffee dyed paper and if I just fold this in half now what then you want to do and, you know, probably loads of you have even made the, um, you know, pop-up cards. I'm probably like the last person to catch on um, with doing them. But you want to sort of cut a section here to put your piece on that you're going to have as your pop-out, pop-up, pop <laughs> pop-up piece. Oh, I can't even speak. Right, so... This then would be in the card like that and this then you want to bend obviously the opposite way to those folds there. So let's just squish that down like that. Oh definitely this is slipping down isn't it? I'm so sorry about this. Right, let's see if I can get my camera set up. Hold on a second. Right, let's see if I can get my camera set up. Hold on. Right, fingers crossed. This will now be okay and not keep on slipping. Right, so yeah, this is basically what you're going to have is like a liner inside of your, um, you know, your foldy card. Now, the only thing is, is I don't know whether I have now got the pop-up, you know, quite right. Mm. Oh, oh! why am I so rubbish <laughs> doing things like this? And I think I'm a little bit fiddly. It's always a bit of a, bit of a kind of um, nightmare for me. Right, okay, so I'm going to glue this down 
over to this side of the card and then I'm going to trim the card down. So, yeah. I'm sure I'm probably making this, you know, a lot more sort of complicated than it needs to be. But I'm hoping that it's going to be really, you know, really worth it once it's done. So, right, let me just unclog my glue. Because I just thought, well, how fun would these be if actually you could do like some sort of pop-up piece inside for journaling on that also had like paper dolls kind of like on it. And, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I do love those paper dolls when I use them, but quite often they do just sit there and, you know, I forget to use them. And just coming up with new and different sort of more imaginative ways to use them you know, it's sometimes a bit tricky, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I just thought it was nice to do some different and new ideas for paper dolls, new ideas for using paper dolls. Um, you know, the Tim Holtz paper dolls. So, um, yeah, that's where, where I thought I would head with that. Right, let's glue this down. So, obviously, this wants to go right into the, the fold of the, you know, the centre of the piece. Like that. Okay, so then you've got your piece, you know, your what's going to effectively be producing your pop-up is there. Okay, so this is going to be a fold card like this, which I may, may regret because I don't know. Right, let's cut this section down here. Okay. Right, so yeah, it's going to kind of pop open like that. And our paper dolls are going to be on there like that. And then for a bit of kind of matchy matchy, we can have the same ones that are going to be on the inside, we could have on the cover. So it's just now, how am I going to get these to glue down? So I might have to be a bit cheaty a bit cheaty and use my hot glue just because I want these to glue down super quickly and not have to keep on moving them about. So if I put my card roughly, oh my goodness, this is uh, not panning out very well, is it? Right, put my card roughly at the top of here so as I know roughly where I want to pop my glue on, okay? Right, okay, and then I'm just going to hot glue Oops, straight on to my paper dolls where I'm going to glue them down. Oh my goodness, this is like a military, military operation, isn't it? Right, so they are now glued on there like that, okay. Right, so then I'm just going to round my corners here to make this look a bit more, you know, finished off, like that, like that. I might not even round the back. Yeah, maybe I will leave the back ones. And then let's do our matching, you know. Oh dear, now I've put, oh no, now she's got glue across her face. Oh dear. Right, okay, thankfully that just picked off. I thought I was going to tear her tear her face in. Right, so she's just going to go on, or they're, they're just going to go on the front. Just got a bit of lace here, just lingering around from something else. So I'm just going to pull that in. Okay. Oops. Ah, like that. So let's just, and again, you know, just for speed, I'm going to hot glue these down and then they just glue straight over the lace. It's all held in place and I don't have to worry at all about it. It's all just, just glued down in one fell swoop. So like that and then, yeah, like that, okay. Make 
dokey and then maybe I've got a word or something that I could pop on here so I've got happy let's just take the word happy Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? And then I wonder if we could just have a little, a little flower or something as well. Oh yeah, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? I wonder if I've got a centre that I could also use. I mean, I'm just trying to use up the little flowers that are in my organiser because it's getting quite full. But yeah. Oops. Hmm, that's not ideal, that one. Right, let me see what other ones I've got in here. I've got this one. It's not, not great colour, but I think it will do. So, yeah, let's just go for this. In fact, I'm going to staple this all together first and then just glue the whole lot down. So, so I'm just using that word as my centre for the flower. Okay. like that oh how gorgeous does that look so the whole thing then I can just glue down in one go like that okay and then oops take my word like that how pretty does that look and then it obviously opens out oh no now I've glued it down opens out and you've got your journaling space in there and your pop-up paper dolls I mean it's got to be said they're not really yeah it would be better obviously if they were that way so I've learned my lesson now so <laughs> it's kind of dictated obviously by the you know the paper direction that I wanted to use for the outside but going forward, I know that really it needs to open in the, you know, conventional way rather than, yeah, it would have been like, yeah. Well, hopefully that kind of makes sense to everyone. I don't know whether I'm even making sense to my own ears, but hopefully it's made a bit of sense. And then, you know, you could always then tie it around maybe with some twine or something or... um. I mean, you could have like a little policy closure, something like that. So let's just, oops, tie this round. Like that. I just thought, well, what a really nice way to use those paper dolls because, um, you know, I don't know about you guys, but I've got quite a lot left. And, you know, I mean, I love using them, so it's not a problem that I've got lots left because I will use them over time. But... I just thought, well, what else could I do with them? How else could I use them? And I thought this was just a really nice, you know, nice and different way to, to get using them. So let's do another one. Right, now I have to think, because this has got to open in the conventional sense, hasn't it? So, yeah. Okay, right. So just bearing that in mind, like if I was having it here, it would open like that having it here it would open yeah like that so I'm going to just cut this one down like that okay just fold this down and again I mean I'm probably going to trim this in I probably won't leave it the huge size it is at the moment but let's see I'm just going to see if I've got any more like matching because I quite liked the fact it mimicked what was on the outside on the inside, if you see what I mean. That was quite fun, wasn't it? Got those two old ladies. I'm really too sure that I actually like them very much, but got this gorgeous girl. I mean, she's always very lovely, isn't she? Um, hmm. got these two girls, they're always lovely. Oh, I've got this little family. Oh, is it a family? No like two sisters and their children just seeing whether I've got any any matching ones I've got this girl with the flag never that keen on her actually 
don't know really why, but yeah. And then the, the men, I mean, I don't mind the men, but I'm not overly wanting to use men today, I think, um, you know, on these. So I'd rather not, you know, if I can possibly help it, I would rather not use the men. Oh gosh, that seems to be all I've got left. Well, I guess I have because, you know, of course I've used mainly not the men, if you see what I mean. Yeah, mainly used the ladies and, you know, I guess the pack is probably, I mean, I didn't count it or study it, but it's probably like 50-50, you know, you probably get 50 men, you know, 50% men, 50% women. I don't know. I haven't really ever looked, but. Right. Okay. So I'm not going to be able to mimic what's on the inside and the outside, unfortunately, because yeah, they're all kind of different except for these girls, but then they're a little bit on the small side. I've got three, three different sizes. But that's fine. I can go for, um, you know, they don't have to be matching, do they? Well, next thing is try and find a reasonable size for my pop-up. So maybe this one. Okay, yeah, looking good. So what I want to do is obviously get my um, coffee dyed sheet that I'm obviously using for the inner part of my pop-up. So I'm just going to put this down here and then fold this, fold this over like that. Oops. Like that. Okay. Right. Let's cut this down. I'll just cut it down here. This was just like a sort of scrap that was laying around on my desk but yeah and then pop this here so I mean at least we've kind of learned a couple of things haven't we here we've learned obviously that you know it needs to really open in order to work to the fullest it needs to be open in the, in the conventional sense you know like a sort of proper card doesn't it so that was that was good to know right cut my pop-up now to cut your pop-up, you're literally cutting a couple of slits like that. They want to be sort of, some, you know, the same size. Um, and then all you're doing is when you open your thing, you know, open your card, you're just folding your middle bit in the other way. And then what you can do is, of course, then squish it down like that. And that's how you've made your pop-up. Like I say, I haven't ever done this before, but, you know, I obviously watched a couple of videos of how to do it. I mean, it's a super basic, you know, super basic kind of pop-up. It's not, you know, very sophisticated or anything else, but, hey, it works. And, you know, why why overcomplicate things if you don't need to? You know, this, that would just be pointless, wouldn't it? So get my little girls, who I'm going to have on the inside, and they can just, yeah, go on there like that so again just going to kind of roughly mark now when I say roughly mark what I'm doing is basically standing the credit card or you know the the card roughly here where this thing image comes up to like that now actually just suddenly thought I could probably do with gluing this down first before before doing that so let's glue this onto the base layer <clears throat> okay okie dokie right. okay and then I'm just going to glue this in like that so I'm just pressing it sort of roughly where it needs to go and then I'll take another glue spreader because of course that one is now balanced roughly where the, the glue needs to uh, go and just then glue this down. Okay, like that. And then just spread my glue everywhere like that okay yep 
Yay, looking good. Right, now this picked back up. Oh, carefully, carefully, like that. <clears throat> and I'm gluing this obviously onto that front flap. I've got my marker here, roughly, you know, where I need to put the glue to. So just like that. Okay, take my piece now and just then push that into there. Okay, that's it. That is literally it for gluing my little pop-up piece in. I mean, you could make this more sophisticated. I'm not very good with things like that, but you know, you could kind of like do a double pop-up. You could put something behind. I mean, I saw people doing all sorts of elaborate things in the videos that I watched with demonstrations of how to do a pop-up. I'm not saying that I would necessarily do those things because, you know, that's not really my type of thing. Um, you know, I like to just do simple and, you know, hopefully kind of reasonably effective, but using simple methods. I don't want to kind of get bogged down into doing really you know, complicated, time-consuming things. But, you know, if you if you like doing things like that, because obviously there's lots of people out there who do, then have a look. And, um, you know, you could add, like, trees in the background. You could have, like, a window behind the um, Tim Holtz people. You know, you could do all sorts of things, couldn't you, to add extra details. But I just thought this was, you know, just a nice, quick and easy... And that's what it's all about. Quick and easy thing to do. So there we go. Right, rounded my corners and then just quickly get rid of these bits. I'm going to have my ladies on the front there. Let's just tear another word out. Oops, like that. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm thinking maybe some doily or something, but I don't think I've actually got any doily here beside me, which is a bit annoying. Um, so let's just see what I have got beside me. I've got some of my little header pieces. Oh, they're actually the ones that I printed onto labels. Well, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Let's just tear one of those down. And glue that like a you know, a bit in the background. Okay, like that. Yeah, that is going to work quite nicely, isn't it? So let's just get this. Oh, come on. Ah! That's the only thing with using the labels is actually then you know, separating the layers because they're then like stickers, you know. It's fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Right, like that. <clears throat> and they're going to go there. Now I've just got that little bit of lace left from that other piece. So it's always good to just use, you know, the stuff that's laying around, isn't it? And I am getting better at doing that, I must say. Um, well, <laughs> I say I'm getting better at doing it. It's, you know, it's probably just a fluke that I'm seeming to do it at the moment. And yeah, probably by next week I won't be, won't be doing it so much, but I feel like I'm improving at doing it. So yeah, just going to have those people maybe even kind of, maybe the lace coming out to the side there. So yeah, let's just put it down this way. Okay, and just like the other one, just going to hot glue so as it just traps that lace down. Okay, like that. Yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oops, she's got glue now on her face. Oh dear. All the faces are going to end up with glue globs stuck all over them. So uh, <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. Right, just got a number tab, which we could have somewhere. I don't know really whether it needs to be. Could have it inside, I suppose. Oh, do you know what? We could have something there. Um, 
you know so what I'm going to do just to kind of show you so that this is you know a bit more evident because this is the type of thing that I would struggle with if I watch someone's video if I glue this here so avoiding the crease but tucked into behind that slot I think that's going to have a look of sort of um yeah like poking out behind them so let's give that a try so just literally sliding it in just very, very slightly like that. Okay, making sure it still shuts, but yeah. So I've just got a bit more sort of interest then when you pop it open. It's not just the girls now. We've got a little um, number as well in the background. So it's just, yeah, just adding some extra kind of um, details, I suppose, to make it a bit more, a bit more interesting. Right, so we're going to have amazing on there and then might have a little butterfly or something somewhere perhaps. So let's just glue this down on there like that. And then let's see what butterflies have got. Okay, got that one. That's not a bad colour, is it? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, not over her face, obviously, but... Perhaps over there. Excuse the back of it. I've obviously been printing other things like that. Okay. Now I'm just wondering whether I could have a policy closure. Um, closure. Yeah. Policy closure. Closure. <laughs> There's a lot of closures in that sentence, aren't there? Um, hmm. I've also got some coffee dyed paper. So let me just try that. might be too much but let's just see because I'm thinking you know we could just literally oops glue this round the back on here and then just wrap it round on the front or we could have this you know tied around there and then it would wrap around I suppose I mean to be honest probably the pink twine is not brilliant I've got some blue Hold on. blue would be better because this is a bit sort of blue tinged yeah I think that might look nice I don't know if I'm truthful if it's a bit um yeah a bit kind of too many things being glued on so I might just have to go for you know another just tie round piece um you know i mean alternatively you could use magnets inside you could use um velcro dots or something like that but yeah i mean i always quite like the tied up pieces anyway i think they look quite cute i mean it looks like a little parcel then doesn't it so yeah okay so that's another one let's do one more i think we've got time for one more so again just got to pick a couple that are going to sort of complement each other Hmm. I might have to order myself another set of the paper dolls. Do you know, when I had them or when I got them, you know, I didn't think I would ever, ever, ever get through them because there's so many and you open them out and it's kind of like, whoa, you know, look at how many year. But I think I've actually <laughs> exhausted my supplies now. I mean, obviously I've got lots of men left. But like I say, I mean, I don't necessarily want to use the men. Now, just wondering... What would happen if I had a pop-up opening that way? It's not really going to work, is it? Yeah, she's just going to be like a bit weird on there, I think. Um, yeah, I was just trying to kind of make use of that paper because it was obviously, you know, lending itself to being that way round. But let's just see. Got this with the flowers. I mean, she's a bit tall to be honest did I have another flag yeah oh she's tiny I mean look at the difference in those two. Oh dear I do never have the things that you actually need hmm? yep I've got ginormous and then I've got tiny so it's not really not really ideal is it okay right so I'm going to just cut this down here 
like that. Okay, fold this over. So this one's going to be, you know, a pretty tall. Whoops. Oh, sorry, just dropped it. Pretty tall one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just get some coffee dyed paper now for the inside. Mm. Sorry, I'm just looking through trying to uh, find the best best paper. Oh, I like this. Well, I'm just going to go for the... Oh no, I'm not going to go for that actually. Right, sorry about this. Uh, why? Why do we never have the things that we really could do with? I mean, you could, I suppose, have inside, you know, I've stuck with photocopy type thickness because I think this would be a very thick piece then. Whereas these are kind of still quite squishy. Um, yeah, I think probably, you know, you're better off sticking with copy paper thickness. I think it would be okay, but however, it, you know, you are going to be slightly in danger of it being a bit, a bit on the bulky side. So yeah, right, let's fold this down. Okay this in here and just cut it roughly against there so that I get it approximately in the right place okay. right so then I'm going to take obviously my you know pop up again I'm making a bit of a longer one this time I don't know how this will work Honestly, it's going through my head now, all the other things that we could do with these pop-ups, you know, using other things. I mean, obviously, these are just ideas for using the Tim Holtz paper dolls, but, you know, there's no reason why you couldn't use other things for these. There's no reason why you'd have to, you know, have to only use the paper dolls. I mean, that, like I say, it was just my first, first thoughts, because I thought, how can we use up some paper dolls? But, yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely you could use other things now she is going to be too tall that's this is why i find her a bit tricky now i'm just going to try and cut her flag down i mean hopefully that would still look okay and then she just fits in there without the flag poking out the top doesn't she so yeah right okay let's glue this piece down Sorry about my wipe all hanging around the desk there. I still haven't got my plug on my desk. So, um, yeah, depending on when this video goes up, you know, it might be that I have got my plug on the desk by the time this goes up. And maybe I've done other videos where the plug is there. So it's not that my plug's there and then not there. It's just that obviously I feel my head and then, you know, the videos don't necessarily go up or, well, they don't go up at all in the order that I filmed them. They kind of go up in order of you know, how it seems, I don't know, relevant or appropriate or something. Um, and that's how they go up. Right, let's get lots of glue on there. Okay. Just put that glue back out of the way. Right, and then we're going to just take this, glue this into our, our base, like that. Okie dokie. So again, just squish that in to the base part. Like that. Okay, right. Like that. And then, yeah, that's still opening nicely. I've got that there. Right. Just now trim this down on the edges. That edge there. Okay, right. Let's have a look. To 
take those a little bits out and yeah she's going to go on here so again just going to kind of like put a marker here and that just tells me roughly where my glue edge can go to I mean you know hot glue it's probably a bit overkill probably don't really need the hot glue but you know at least then I do know it's all glued down good and proper so I don't have to worry about her not not being glued oops oh dear oh she's now glued to everywhere hold on right ah oh, she is glued to everywhere right so yep she's she's glued in and attached like that and then let's get the ballerina I think on the front of this so yeah get her on there now let's just have a look and see just got this frame I wonder whether we could push a frame behind her maybe yeah that's quite pretty isn't it has she got any bits to come out? No, she's she's looking good on there like she is. Right, let's just see what else we've got. Got a couple of flowers that I can just attach there as well. Right, I'm just going to ink this up, I think, so it's a bit more standouty. Yeah, so I hope that everybody's having a good day, maybe doing some crafting, having a nice time. Let me know below what's your favourite way to use your paper dolls. I mean, you know, are you like me and kind of like they've been in your stash for ages? You know, maybe you've not ever used them. I had mine for a long time before I ever used them. Um, or maybe like me, you go through phases and then you kind of dig them out and think, oh, they're really fun, you know, and then again, you then forget to use them for a long time. Um, yeah, let's let's all um, share our experiences, you know, with the paper dolls and how how is our best way to use them what do you think to these um you know to the pop-ups i think it's a really fun way to use them um let me know what you think whether you will be making any of these yourself okay So yeah, she looks quite nice there, doesn't she? Just see what else I've got. Could even have a little book plate somewhere. I'm not sure about that one, to be honest, but just see whether maybe a label. Mm. Oh, quite like that label like that. It just kind of needed something else, didn't it? Like a bit of sort of contrast from something else. So, yeah, I think that looks quite good in there. You know, it was looking a little bit, um, not colourless, but, you know, everything was blending in a bit too much in the background, wasn't it? So I think, I think this is just, just what was needed was something else to just lift it a bit. See. Oops. oh yeah I think that's quite nice like that so just pop these flowers down in the background sorry about the siren there okay just see if we want any other flowers might be kind of like an overdose of flowers now but but what we could do is again to sort of tie in the two the two things is have flowers there and then they're just kind of like coming out behind her so now I'm going to be really silly here and just glue these in obviously you know I don't really need to hot glue these in at all um but 
just for sort of very quick actually I'm not going to I'm going to just wet through them why am I being why am I being ridiculous plus then I do have a little bit of wiggle rim you know if I put them in the wrong place and then think oh gosh they don't don't need to go there then I can at least you know switch them around a bit so right they are now glued down okay like that okie dokie It just ties in then the front and the back, doesn't it? Which is always, you know, quite a nice thing to do. She's going to go on there. And then do we want any sort of butterfly or anything like that? I mean, that's a bit monstrous on there, but let's just see what else we've got. Um, I've got a window. Oh, no. That's too much, too much, too much. Um, got an umbrella. Just poke that into her hand. Oh, come on, come on. She's got like that space, you know, where her thumb and her fingers are. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going on? Let's try in this hand. Because Grulie's struggling to put it in that other hand. Hmm. Oh, for goodness sake, what is going on with me? <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me, but this is just way too fiddly. I can't seem to thread that through, but... I do quite like the umbrella, so let me just ink up that umbrella a bit. Now, cut it with my scan and cut, and I know I say this all the time, but the scan and cut, I mean, although it's brilliant, and it definitely is a time saver, it does just every now and then, you know, not cut quite close enough to the edges or, you know, things like that, and it just randomly does it. You know, sometimes it's great, and sometimes it just doesn't want to cut right to the, you know, close to the shape. Um, yeah, so that was that was one of those times. Right, let's just ink the stem. Okay. Right, let me see if I can put this in her hand. Yay! My goodness, they've actually done it. It's just a case of put my glasses on, wasn't it? So, just going to glue that down into her hand. And then I can glue the whole thing on together. So, okay. Let me just check that that's not too high. You know, I'm going to be then flicking off the flicking off the page. No, yeah. Okay, right. Looking good at last. So I'm going to probably just hot glue the umbrella down actually. Like that. Let's just dab that glue up a bit because there's a lot on there. And then I'm going to just hot glue the rest down. Okay. These um, paper dolls, you know, they're very thick. They're very thick sort of card. So, I mean, I often find just the hot glue is good for gluing them down. You know, because they're actually very thick, thick glue. Uh, thick, thick card, sorry, not glue. Right. Oh my goodness, what's gone on? Oh no, look at my umbrella stem. It's snapped. Right, let's just attach that again there. Oh dear. That was a bit of a nightmare, wasn't it? Luckily, that's with that wet glue and I can just then mould it, mould it into place. Okay, right, looking good. Oh, that was, that was a wing and a prayer moment if there ever was one, wasn't it? So, again, just round my corners now. Just going to round those bottom ones this time. Okay, like that. And then just have a look. I'm just going to see about that um, policy closure again. I know we talked about it, you know, with the last one, but I wonder whether we might have a bit more kind of room to have it on there this time. So it might look okay, it might not. Oh, it's going to cover her feet. No, it's, of course that's not okay. So, you know, this would be another one where maybe like a Velcro dot or a magnet. Now, the only thing is she is pretty tall when you close that. So a Velcro dot or whatever, you know, you'd have to kind of make sure you avoid that. Um, so in that case, maybe again, the 
baker's twine is going to be the best thing. Uh, maybe brown. Or maybe just a paper clip. Let's just do a paper clip for this one, I think. So, yeah, let's just do a paper clip. But like that and let me just see whether I want to have any lace on her. I've got just some lace down here to the side. Hold on two seconds. Let me reach down and get it. That's the only thing with my new desk. I'm obviously sat on a stool where I'm pretty high up. <laughs> so reaching down. Oh, it's a bit tricky. A bit tricky to say the least. Okay. I normally do cut tear this, but I'm worried about making it too thick because I haven't got much leeway on here. Okay. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I will have her without, without lace, which, you know, that's unusual, I'm, I admit. But yeah, I think maybe without lace is probably going to be better for her. So, you know, I would just then have a little paper clip holding her closed. But then obviously on the inside, you open her up and we've got the pop-up girl with the coordinating flowers that just, you know, literally adds that sort of finishing touch, doesn't it? So, yeah, I really hope that you like them. I mean, I think they're just super, super, super cute. And um, yeah, just, you know, really hope that you like them. And yeah, let me know what you think below. So thank you so much for watching. Have fun with yours if you decide to make something similar. And yeah, share in the Facebook group, um, you know, what you do with yours or, you know, if you make some of these. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.